If you've driven through an intersection, there's a good chance they've seen you. And if you've received the traffic ticket in the mail, there's a good chance you didn't see them. It's taken a little more than 25 years, but red light cameras attached to traffic signals have become almost ubiquitous. We have red light cameras in um, more than 250 cities nationwide. The cameras are a big part of business for American traffic solutions. ATS is the largest provider of cameras in the United States, with revenues exceeding $200 million. Currently, uh, there are close to 7,000 uh, road safety cameras in the ground. Um, we have about 3,250 of them. So um, we, we make up about 50% of the industry, uh, and then the other vendors make up the other 50%. The newest cameras are equipped with 29 megapixel sensors that can capture high-definition photos and video quick enough to see the inside of a moving car. Many of the photos and videos are sent here to Tempe, Arizona, where they're processed by ATS employees. Workers review each traffic incident and forward them to the municipalities who decide whether or not to issue a ticket. We issue as a company um, nearly five million violations per year on behalf of our customers. But do the cameras make roads safer? In general, the studies show that red light cameras reduce red light running violations by 40 to 50 percent and injury crashes 25 to 30 percent. The cameras may be effective, but they're not cheap. Installations can run up to $100,000 each, but ATS says the cameras pay for themselves. Our customers will only pay us um, for for cameras that can operate themselves. Um, so, for example, if a customer uh, signs a flat fee contract with us for a certain amount of money, um, if the camera doesn't generate enough money to pay for itself, then they only pay us what uh, the camera has generated. The cameras have also generated controversy. Critics contend that they are used by cash-strapped cities to increase the number of traffic tickets. People say this is all about revenue and not safety. Uh, but the fact is that uh, these cameras are very effective in reducing red light running violations and crashes. There are now roughly 500 municipalities using these cameras, up from just a couple of dozen in the early 2000s. Cities hope that all those cameras will continue to have drivers seeing and obeying the red. Jason Sanchez, CNN Money, Tempe, Arizona.